defender, number 14, Tim Tima. It'll be Bob Vosmeyer at midfield, Rudy Pikasinski and Kia manning the forward positions. Tim Tima and Oscar Pisano will start on defense for Canton. The Louisville Thunder will counter with their head coach, Jim Gabera, who replaced Keith Tozer at midseason when Tozer accepted the head coaching spot with the Los Angeles Lasers. Zoran Savick, the other forward with Chris Hellenkamp. Consensus selection is the top midfielder in the league this year. And the defenders are Saeed Bakhtiari, a three-year veteran with Louisville, and Caleb Suri. Thunder will attack from our left to our right as we look at it in the Civic Center. Underway, Bakhtiari with the ball, red line, midfield circle, back edge. It comes to Helen Camp, who backs away from Tima, dumps it on the right side to Suri. And now it's Gabera working in the invader zone. Hard to recognize Jimmy Gabera. He's gotten a haircut since I've seen him. There's a shot! And the deflection by Gabera is high over the glass and out of play. And Jamie Swanner comes up looking for his defenders. That is the shortest I have seen Gabera's hair in the three years that he's been here. I mean, it used to be as long as Bakhtiari's is now. Goal kick coming up for the Invaders. We played 25 seconds at the Civic Center in game one with no score. Here with 94 FM, WHBC FM in Canton, Ohio. Bobby Vosmeyer bringing it out ahead at the red line on the right side to Oscar Pisano. Surrey steps over on Oscar, who sends it down in the right corner. And Kia couldn't get there, but the taller Saeed Bakhtiari got up behind him and headed the ball out of play. Canton will maintain possession with a kick in from the right side touchline just inside the Thunder defensive zone. Pisano to put it in play with Savick in front of him. Oscar looks down the corner, feeds in the middle to Tima. Helen Camp heads it out of the goal box and coming the other way is Savick. Savick at midfield, Pisano at the Canton red line. He crosses, leaves him for Gabera down the left side. Tima picks him up, steps inside of the boards. Rudy with a double team. The ball bumped free out front and Bossmeyer clears out to Tima. Tima leads it down in the Thunder zone. Petroni's out of the net to knock it away. Had some trouble with it. Rudy couldn't quite get there in time. And here comes Saeed Bakhtiari up the floor for Louisville. <laughs> Bakhtiari, Helen Camp whipped on the shot. And Kia comes away with it for Camp. Kia trying to get around. Ball knocked away. And it's Chris Helen Camp for Louisville. Right side feed, Savick. Lines fires wide. Rebound controlled by Pisano, who taps it into Jamie Swanner. Outlet short on the right side to Oscar. We played a minute and a half with no score in game one. Flesh Scarelli off the bench on the line change for Canton. For Randy Pikasinski in the corner. Giannis Mahalik in for Louisville. Knocks it away from him. Mahalik is out there along with Tom Hayes, who's the leading scorer for the Thunder in the playoffs. Five points in the two games. 
Mike Fall, who started the year with Tampa Bay with a ball. Paul Cato and Giannis Mahalik are the defenders. Mike Fall with a ball, right edge of the circle, now to the front side. And Yilmaz Orhan has it on the left. Orhan takes it down, got it too far in front of him. And the ball swept in the goal box by Tima. Swanner outlet midfield beyond Cato. And it's controlled by Mahalik in the Thunder and Randy Pikasinski out on him. And they dump it in the goal box. Petroni almost picked that up and realized he's not allowed to do that. Now clears it out midfield. Up the right side of the floor is Hayes. Paxos had position along the boards and dumps it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Walt Schlothauer, who will be our halftime guest tonight, has the ball through the midfield circle down on the Thunder defensive zone. Cato and Schirelli fight for it, and Lesh gets whistled for the push-off. And that's the first foul on either team in the game as Schirelli is called for pushing. 12.25 to play in the first period, and Victor Petroni with the ball in the goal box for the Thunder. He'll come out with it. Out to midfield to fall, sweeps it right side. Cato bounces it around the boards for Orhan. Centering pass, never got there. And coming the other way, Paxos clears to Randy Pikasinski. Now back to Paxi. And in the goal box to Swanner, outlet Kondrich on the right side. And Tomo clears out across the red line. Orhan's with him at midfield. Tomo ahead to Randy. Pikasinski against Mahalik on the right side. Midfield circle, Paxos. Left side to Schlothauer, around Hayes. Coming up with the ball is Schirelli trying to get around Cato. Does out to Randy. He shoots. It's blocked by Mahalik. The rebound comes out near the red line to Orhan. Left side at midfield. Kondrich poked it away from behind. And it rolls down in the goal box where Swanner sends it ahead. Walt Schlothauer left side at midfield. Leads it into the corner for Schirelli. Hits the top of the glass and goes out of play. And that'll be a kick in for the Thunder with 11.29 to play in period number one. No score at the Civic Center. Invaders have never lost a playoff game at home. They are 10-0 in playoff games at the Civic Center, including 4-0 against Louisville in the playoffs at home the last two years. Bakhtiari sweeps the ball in the goal box for Victor Petroni. He'll pick it up, and the former Kalamazoo Kangaroo will put it back on the floor and come out to midfield. Helen Camp sweeps right side to Surrey. Surrey winds, fires, Swatter slaps it up in the air. Tima heads it out of the box. Helen Camp gets it back, and his pass is going to be taken away by Kia. He wanted Savick on the left point, and the ball didn't get there. And now Tima clears to Vossmeyer. Bobby V, lead ball past Helen Camp, but Surrey stepped in front of Pikasinski. He goes down, and the tripping foul will go against Rudy, second on the Invaders. The restart is intercepted by Tima. Kia with a shot that's blocked by Bakhtiari. And Saeed tries to clear it ahead, but Pisano has position against Gabera. It bounces out of play. They say touch last by Oscar. No, touch last by, G <laughs> excuse me, by Gabera. <coughs> now it's the other way. Pisano was trying to co uh, coerce him into the call and didn't get it. Was touched last by Oscar. Helen Camp steps over. Surrey dumps it in the corner. Savick back to the net on Pisano. Centering pass knocked away by Vossmeyer and taken by Rudy. And then Surrey knocks it over the glass and out of play. The Invaders will kick it in. Touch line left. Near their own red line. 10.41 to play in the first period. No score. Neither team has really had a good offensive threat yet in the game. Vossmeyer with the ball at the red line. Helen Camp gives him a lot of room. Vossmeyer's pass is deflected. First by Surrey and then by Bakhtiari. Now Savick clears, but he'll get the dangerous play as the foot was up in the air close to the head of Tima. Kia tried to get it in quickly to Rudy. It was knocked away. And Surrey's pass is taken by Savick. Knocked away by Vossmeyer. Savick got it back. Kia picks him up on D. Rudy over to help out. Kia picks his pocket. Bakhtiari keeps it in the zone. Bakhtiari give and go feet in the corner. Knocked away by Tima who eventually clears it in the box for Swanner. Long lead for Kia up the right side. Kia cuts to the middle of the floor, trying to work on Surrey. There are four Thunder players back on B, and he dumps it back to Vossmeyer. In quickly to Rudy, back to Vossmeyer on the give and go, knocked away by Helen Camp. Helen Camp controls in the corner, left side for Louisville. He comes out with it. And at midfield, it's Yomaz Orhan. Now Hayes winds, fires, it's wide to the right. Swanner had come out to cut down the angle. Tima clears ahead to Pisano in the goal arc. Oscar picked up by Orhan at midfield. Cuts to the left. Back to the right. Over it comes to Schirelli. He taps it back to Tim Tima. 
Now Pisano, right edge of the midfield circle. Team is out on the line change. Schlotthauer is in. Up the field, the feed for Scarelli. Lesh back to the net left corner against Cato. Scarelli crosses with Pikasinski. Lesh keeps the ball and feeds out midfield. Schlotthauer sweeps it on the right side to Paxos. Paxos to the middle, shot blocked by Fall. Hayes and Schlotthauer in a race. Walter tried to clear it in the corner, but got it too high. And it's over the glass and out with 9-10 to play in the first period. And Louisville will kick it in from their own end. Randy Pikasinski, Lush Corelli, Tom Condridge, Mike Paxos, and Walt Schlotthauer for Canton. Tom Hayes, Mike Fall, Yilmaz Orhan, Giannis Mahalik, and Paul Cato for Louisville. Hayes, a rookie out of St. Louis. A lot of good soccer talent out of that area. Just look at the invaders with Jamie Swanner, Steve Maurer, Art Kramer, all from St. Louis. Steve Moyers from Milwaukee. Ted Hantak from Memphis. Hayes from Louisville. All players from the St. Louis, Missouri area having good success here in the AISA. 9-10 to play. We come back in a moment. No score here at the Civic Center. Planning tax strategies is always difficult, and now more than ever. United Bank doesn't have all the answers, but we can help with personal financial planning. It isn't difficult, and it isn't expensive, and we'll help you through every step of the process, working with you to identify your goals and focus on your current financial status. With personal financial planning, you and United Bank work together to make your dreams into realities. Nine minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first period here at the Civic Center. Game one of the AISA Championship Series between the Canton Invaders and the Louisville Thunder. Late ball by Louisville up in the Canton end. Orhan on the right side against Schlotthauer. They fight for it. Swanner comes out to knock it away. Hayes got it back. It's straight up in the air in the goal box. Headed out by Randy. And Schirelli heads it back to Schlotthauer who puts it airborne to midfield. Cato dumps it back. Orhan had it poked away by Randy Pikasinski. Uh, Orhan couldn't control. And it's dumped back to Mike Paxos off the foot of Les Scarelli. And ahead it comes to, to uh, Condridge. Condridge in a crowd. Couldn't weave through all of them. Hayes cleared the ball, but right to Condridge. Now Scarelli. Randy's open in front. He shoots. It was deflected. Good play by Cato, who got back on D. They clear it out, but Condridge keeps it in red line. Shot blocked by Hayes. Follows. Schlotthauer is wide in the corner. And Schirelli will come out front with it. Sliding play by Fall to take Lesh down. And coming the other way is Hayes. Passes behind Fall. Lesh deflects. It bounces off Condridge. A collision at midfield. It ends up at the feet of Mike Paxos at the Canton red line. And the Invaders will regroup on offense. Paxos across into the Louisville end. Ball taken away by Fall. And a pushing call goes against Mike Fall. And that will even the team fouls up at two apiece. Condrich will trigger it in for the Invaders from just inside the Thunder red line. To Schirelli, left side on Cato, dumps it to the middle for Randy, can't get there. Savick clears it out for Louisville. Lead ball for Fall, Swanner will get there first, clears it to midfield, Mahalik sends it back in. And now it is uh, Zoran Savick, the team captain, with the ball at midfield. Schlotthauer picked his pocket inside the red line and coming the other way is Randy. Pikasinski, taken down by Surrey, no call. Scarelli taken down by Helen Camp and coming the other way is Surrey. Surrey lost the ball as uh, Condridge cleared it to Schlotthauer. Surrey got the ball a little too far in front of him and Tomo just swept it over on the side. Schlotthauer with the ball, dumps it over to Pisano who's in on the line change. 7.20 to play in the first period. We're better than halfway into the quarter and still no scoring. Kia. Back at midfield is Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer trying to work on Helen Camp up against the boards. Vossmeyer dumps it back. Pisano is taken down by Savick, and that'll be another foul on Louisville. And with 7.04 to play in the period, three fouls on the Thunder and two on the Invaders. No scoring here. Bill and Mike Domofsky say a special happy birthday to their father, celebrating his birthday today. See if they can do it with an invader victory. In the Louisville defensive zone, Vossmeyer trying to get around Helen Camp. They both end up going down and coming the other way 
That was Gabera, rather. Here is Hillenkamp, shot wide, rebound, Bakhtiari controlled by Swanner off his chest. Lead ball up the field is too far for Vossmeyer. And Surrey has it in the thunder and ahead to Hillenkamp. 6.30 to play in the first half. Hillenkamp midfield circle. Forward for Gabera, now back to Hillenkamp. And it's Savick at the red line, middle of the floor. Ball knocked away by Pisano. Bakhtiari gets it back at midfield. Surrey moves to the middle. Right side, Bakhtiari. Rudy Pikasinski took it away, but fouled him in the process. And the team fouls even up at three apiece. 6-12 to play in the first period. Tight game, good marking by both teams. Not real physical. At least not compared to what we saw in the Memphis series. It's physical, but we're just used to something a little different. Ball dumped in the goal box, cleared out off Pisano and Vossmeyer, and it hit the top of the boards and went out of play. Touched last by Canton. It'll be Louisville to put it in play from the right side at midfield. 6.07 on the clock. We're in period one, and it's all goose eggs on the scoreboard. Rudy Pikasinski fighting with Surrey, forces him back. Holding call on Surrey. Will be the fourth foul on Louisville. That was a good foul, I think, though, because if Rudy had not been interfered with there, I think he had a clear shot up the left side. Invaders will put it in play in the person of Bob Vossmeyer on the left side at midfield. Six minutes and four seconds on the clock now, as that only took three. Game two tomorrow night, games three and four if necessary, Wednesday and Thursday in Louisville. They dump it ahead. Kia couldn't get there in the corner of the box. Bakhtiari can't control. Tima over to Rudy. Vossmeyer winds, fires. No, headed out by Helen Camp, and it bounces off the top of the glass and out of play. And we have an official's timeout on the field with 5.54 to play in the first quarter. And a score, the Canton Invaders nothing and the Louisville Thunder nothing. Invader defense has been what we've been, uh, grown accustomed to the last couple of games so far. They... Uh, need to get the offense in gear just a bit unofficially we do not have Canton with a shot on goal so far in the game only three for Louisville and one save for Swanner team fouls four on the Thunder and three on the Invaders 554 to play in the first quarter and we're tied up at 0-0 Vossmeyer will put the ball in play for Canton he's on the floor along with uh, Tima Pisano Kia and Rudy Pikasinski it's Cato Mahalik Hayes Orhan and Fall for Louisville. Vossmeyer outside Tima. Tima steps inside one back in the corner to Vossmeyer. Now out at the red line to Pisano. He fires and uh, it was intended for Kia coming in on the post of the far side. Mahalik stepped in front and knocked it out of play. Canton will kick it in from the left side. Again, it'll be Bobby Vossmeyer to trigger it in for the invaders. Well, what a find this guy was. They dump it in the right corner for Kia. Kia backs it out front. And Oscar Pisano with it there. Up in the air, left side of the goal box. Rudy tries to head it away from Cato. Gets it out to Tima. He fires wide to the right. And Vossmeyer lost the ball. Hayes can't get it because of a sliding play by Pisano. Here's Vossmeyer, right side, looks, feeds to the middle, and Cato knocked it away and controlled it into the hands of Victor Petroni. Petroni represented the Southern Division team in the AISA All-Star game this year. Mahalik clears it in, sliding play by Vossmeyer to knock it out to midfield. Cato dumps it in. Rudy Pikasinski has it. Mahalik in the, off his head in the Thunder zone, and Cato taps it back to Petroni again. Five minutes to go. In the first quarter, Mike Fall with it on the right side at midfield for Louisville. Fall pushes it ahead. Hayes drops it back to Fall on the right point. Middle of the floor to Hayes. Hayes down the left side. There's a shot by Orhan, blocked by Pisano. Fall gets it back. Puts it airborne on the right point. Mahalik, his shot blocked by Vossmeyer. Mahalik dumps it down to Fall. Left side leaves it for Orhan in the corner. And Swanner taps that ahead to Tim Tima. Off the right side, it comes to Vossmeyer across the Canton red line, and Louisville is back on D. Lead ball for Rudy. He, ought, he got around everybody. I don't know what Fall was doing there, but Petroni able to get a hold of it. Pisano slaps it off the sideboards for Kia. Kia tried to get it to Rudy, and again, Fall was in front. Left side midfield for Paul Cato. Cato picked up by Tima at the red line. Around one, he shoots, and it's deflected out of play by Jamie Swanner. 
That'll be a corner kick from the left side for the Louisville Thunder. Four minutes and ten seconds to play in period number one. No score here at the Civic Center. Petroni had his trouble with the Invaders during the regular season. Victor only played in two games, a little less than a game and a half, really, and had a 9.24 goals against average. Centering ball for Gabera, knocked away by Slothauer, and then scissored by Swanner, and he grabs it and holds on. Jamie outlet midfield. Scarelli trying to get around Bakhtiari, can't do it. Saeed clears ahead to Jimmy Gabera, the player coach across the red line. Wines fires Swanner with a save to slap that out on the side. Uh, Savick gets it back for Louisville. Shot deflected by Paxos. And Kondrich will clear it around Helen Camp. Helen Camp gets it back in the corner, shoots, hit the post, and score on the rebound. Jim Gabera will get the goal. And I think the assist will go to Helen Camp, and Louisville leads one to nothing. Time of the goal, 11.20 of the period. For Gabera, that's his second goal of the playoffs. And Helen Camp picks up his first assist in the postseason. And Louisville leads one to nothing at the 11-20 mark of the first period. Condridge clears ahead in the zone and it's knocked away. Randy couldn't quite get to it. Randy in the corner working against Gabera. Tried to dump it out to Schlothauer, but Helen Camp got a piece of it. And Surrey clears out, intercepted by Schlothauer. Schlothauer would move around Helen Camp and then he put it out of play. That'll be a goal kick for the Thunder with 3.20 to go. In the first quarter, Louisville won, Canton nothing on the Jim Gabera goal and the Chris Helen Camp assist. Helen Camp fired it in, it hit the inside of the post. Swanner dove for the shot and couldn't quite get it and the ball was kind of left sitting there and all Gabera had to do was tap it in. Jamie's mom and dad are here from St. Louis. I see them down in section 15. Here is Victor Petroni in the goal box for Louisville. Long lead. Canton red line is fall. Fall and Condridge fight for it in the corner. Tomo taps it away. Cato gets it back, but only momentarily at midfield. It skitters off his foot over the glass and out. And Kondrich will put it in play for Kent. one nothing Thunder. Paxos ahead for Scarelli. Lash working against Cato in the Louisville zone, and Cato heads it away with defensive help from Orhan. Cato in the Canton zone. He shoots, slapped away by Swanner, who just leaned over and got the right hand on it. Fall tries to keep it in. Three invaders around him. It ends up at the foot of Cato. He backs it up to Mahalik at midfield. Mahalik's pass intercepted by Schlothauer. Clears it over for Kondrich and back in the goal box, Swanner straight ahead to Mike Paxos. Two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Paxos ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Randy against Cato and Orhan. Back out of the point to Schlothauer, left side. Scarelli on the give and go on the feed and was just knocked away from Randy. Here is uh, Kondrich. And a sliding play by Fall. Knocked it right to Schlothauer. Left side, Scarelli. He feeds in the middle. The ball was in front of Walter. And knocked away by Mike Fall. Mahalik ahead. It comes to Orhan. Orhan, right side midfield. Schlothauer picks him up and took it away. Fall gets it back for Louisville. And now it's Cato. Minute 57 in the, half, in the period. Cato ahead to midfield. Headed up in the air by Schlothauer. Randy couldn't get a hit on it because Mahalik had it. Orhan has it for Louisville. Orhan down the right side of the floor in the Canton zone in the corner. Dumps it in. Walter got a piece of that. Keeps it away from Hayes along the side of the box. Clears it ahead for Randy, who sweeps it to Paxos. And now midfield for Kondrich. But Paul gets there first and dishes it back to Surrey. Caleb Surrey picked up by Kia in on the line change. And back in the goal box to Petroni. Minute 25 to play in period number one. Petroni. Shovels it out of the outlet and coming up the floor with it is Surrey on the left side. Tima picks him up at the Canton red line. Scarelli is over to help out. He moves around the right and put it in the cheap seats. And that'll be a goal kick Canton with 1-12 to go in the period. Invaders trying to do something about a 1-0 Louisville lead. <laughs> Paxos. 
Haven't been any fouls in a while. Still 4-3, so nobody in serious foul trouble with only 1-12 left in the quarter. T Tim Tima taps it ahead to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer, lead for Rudy Pikasinski, bounces through the box. Petroni tried to jump out for it, didn't get it, but it ended up out at midfield anyway. Vossmeyer ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside Surrey. He drew the fifth foul with a hold, and that comes with 52 seconds left. Rudy to put it in play for, well, now he won't put it in play. Vossmeyer will from the corner. Takia, he shoots, that's deflected. Bakhtiari got a piece of it. Pisano working on Hillenkamp in the corner, 46 seconds. Pisano through the middle, outside. Vossmeyer put it out of play. Goal kick Louisville with 42 seconds to go. Here with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Petroni will tap it out to back the Ari, back in the goal box to Victor Petroni. Outlet, left side, midfield, intercepted by Tima. Knocked it back to Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get around back to Ari in the corner. Ball knocked away, and Hillenkamp clears it out to midfield. Zoran Savic on the right side is picked up by Pisano. And now he dumps it to the left. It come, here comes Hillenkamp into the Canton zone. Back out to midfield to Surrey. 18 seconds in the quarter. And the shot by Surrey sails out of play. That'll be a goal kick for the Invaders with 15 seconds to go. Jamie Swanner will not put it in. Tima will, and he clears it ahead for Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer leads for Rudy. Pikasinski in the corner, double team, trying to get out of a crowd. There's the sixth foul. Pikasinski went down on the trip by Surrey. I don't think Surrey hit him that hard, but Rudy made sure the referee knew that he was touched. And the Invaders will go on the power play with seven seconds to go in the first period. Time of the penalty will be 14.53. That could be a big step toward raising some momentum. This is strength against strength. The Invaders had the best power play in the league during the regular season. 42% success rate, 53 goals and 127 attempts. Louisville had the best penalty killers in the league. They snuffed out 80% of their man down situations on the year. They have not had such good success in the playoffs though, as they've given up three goals in five man down situations in the playoffs. The Invaders are three of nine in postseason for 33%. Only seven seconds in this period, but remember the Invaders, the home team, they will control the kickoff to start the second quarter. Bossmeyer wants Schlothauer, he wants the goal, shot wide, follow is up in the crowd with three seconds left to play. So the goal kick by Louisville should kill off the remaining time here in the first quarter, and the Invaders would start period two with a minute 53 of power play left. And Petroni will just dump it out to midfield, and that will be the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Louisville Thunder won, and the Canton Invaders nothing. We are back to the Civic Center in just a moment. And the goal to our right... It'll be Victor Petroni. The power play unit for the Invaders, Rudy Pikasinski, Kia, Bob Vossmeyer, Oscar Pisano, and Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer will be our halftime guest. Man down unit for Louisville. You've got uh, Surrey, Bakhtiari, Mahalik, and Hayes. Up front, Rudy in the corner for Kia. Kia, right side, out of the point it comes to Pisano. Left side to Vossmeyer, minute 34 in the penalty. Pisano, couple of steps in in the corner to Kia, one touch back to Oscar, back to Kia, across the floor, Vossmeyer, to Schlothauer, winds, fires, it's deflected. And back out front to Kia, and again it's Pisano, minute 19 in the penalty. Left side, Schlothauer, Walter with Gabera out on him, and here comes uh, Vossmeyer down the middle. Left side, Schlothauer through the box. It's blocked by Surrey. Walter got it back. Surrey clears it out. Gabera dumps it out to midfield. 
Swanner will come out of the net to get that. And ahead it comes to Vossmeyer. 14.04 to play in the period. And now 55 seconds in the penalty. Sonhauer in the corner. Centers. Rudy wide. Kia rebound deflected. And Cabrera dumps it out to midfield off the sideboards taken by Pisano. 43 in the penalty. Oscar across the red line. Looks right. Now to the left side to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer down in the right corner to Kia. Kia, one step out and back to Vossmeyer in the middle of the floor at the red line. Couple of steps inside now. Pisano with a shot. Scores! Victor Petroni immediately comes out looking at Surrey saying, get out of my way, you had me screamed. Oscar Pisano with a power play goal puts the invaders in the lead, one to nothing. He just let it go and Petroni didn't have a chance and Surrey had him screened on the play. I think Bossmeyer will get the assist. The time of the goal is 1-16. Pisano picks up the goal. It's his first of the playoffs. Vossmeyer has his second assist of the playoffs. And the Invaders have tied it up 1-0 as the power play clicks on their first opportunity of the night. Schlotthauer puts it in play at midfield after Louisville faltered on the restart. Paxos, the ball was blocked by Fall. Orhan... Tried to get it away from Fall, but Paxo stepped in between the two and clears it. It's behind Randy, and it also got away from Gary Amlong, who's seeing his first action of the night. Cato had it poked away by Scarelli. Amlong couldn't take it. Schlotthauer does. Amlong, quite a story, really. He had a hor horrible, horrible knee injury last year, and they really thought his career was over. Before he left, Keith Tozer was able to talk Gary Amlong into coming back. And he played very well for the Thunder this year with 39 points. 30 goals and 9 assists during the regular season for a guy they thought would never play soccer again. Here's Paxos in the corner with a shot mishandled by Petroni. He couldn't hold on and had to kick it out. And the ball picked away from Orhan by Randy. He shoots! And a good save by Petroni to deflect that wide to the left. Coming out with it is Paul Cato. Condridge picks him up at midfield. Cato lost the ball to Schlotthauer. Here we come the other way. Schlotthauer stops, looking for some help, and the ball was taken away from behind by Amlong. And coming out with it is Yilmaz Orhan. Orhan left side at midfield. Across the Canton red line, cuts to the middle. Shot partially deflected, and Swanner diving to his left to punch that free into the corner. Paul dumps it back out on the point to Orhan. Middle of the floor to Amlong, who's posted up back to the net with Kondrich. And the shot is put over the glass and out of play by Orhan. And the Invaders will have a goal kick. Game is tied at a goal apiece with 11.57 to play in the second quarter. Pisano has scored. Vossmeyer the assist on the power play for Kent. The Louisville goal goes in the stat sheet next to the, game of Jim, next to the name of Jim Gabera. And Chris Hellenkamp will pick up the assist. Here comes Bob Vossmeyer out of the Invaders zone with it. Helen Camp awaits him in the midfield circle. His pass knocked away by Savick, but Pisano gets it back for Canton. And now Vossmeyer up in the air for Rudy. It's a little far for him. And Bakhtiari clears it out, but right to Tima. Tima leaves to Rudy and is picked away by Savick. And here comes Helen Camp, and now Savick through the midfield circle. Tima back quickly. Rudy over to help out. And Vossmeyer deflected that. And here comes Pisano. And the foot up in the air is going to result in a dangerous play on Helen Camp, and that's the first foul on either team in the second period. Louisville was whistled for the sixth foul violation in the first, and it cost him as the Invaders scored their goal tonight on the ensuing power play, which carried over into the second quarter. Bossmeyer lead ball for Kia. Kia double team, and this foul is going to go on Kia as he will be called for the dangerous play, getting the knee up high near the face of Saeed Bakhtiari. Team fouls even at one apiece. Petroni with a lead ball midfield for Savick. Savick on the right side. He's got Kia and Pisano with him. Savick able to move there. Shot no. Rebound. And Gabera couldn't get to it because he was shielded away by Pisano. Swanner controls. Outlet short on the left. Comes to Tim Tima. Tima taps it over to Vossmeyer who steps out across the red line. Lead ball is a little too far for Kia. 
And Surrey dumps it back in the Louisville goal box. And with it is Victor Petroni. Petroni was named the top goalkeeper in the league last year when he played for Kalamazoo. Up the field, Saeed Bakhtiari across the red line into the Canton zone. Vossmeyer with him on D. Vossmeyer blocks the shot by Saeed. Kia off his head, comes up with the ball up the right side. Kia on the run, feeds the middle to Rudy. And the ball was, uh, it hit Rudy in the hand, and that'll be the second foul on the Invaders. Now they let it go. Referee started to signal Louisville possession on the handball, but they let it go. There's a steal midfield. Savick is doing an acting job and doesn't get the call. Vossmeyer, middle of the floor, shoots. It's deflected. Rudy taps it back out to Vossmeyer. He shoots again. Tebow with a shot up in the air and out of play. I don't know if you could, anybody up here could see Savick at midfield. You're not going to get a stoppage in play very often when you are seen with your elbow up, holding yourself up, looking around for the referee to stop play. That's not a very good acting job. 1-1 is the tie score. 9.58 to play in the first half. Louisville's goal came in the first quarter. The Invaders have scored early here in the second period. Goal kick will be initiated by Petroni. Puts it outside the box for Mahalik. Back in the box for Petroni. He'll pick it up. Looks. And he'll put it on the floor and come out with it. Petroni picked up by Randy Pikasinski. Sends it ahead. Off the head of Hayes. Swanner dumps it around the boards. Dump back in from Paul to Hayes. Wide off the right. And Condrit slaps the rebound back into Jamie Swanner. Swanner, the 84 U.S. Olympian. Taps it out for Paxos, and now Schlotthauer, and now Mike at midfield, trying to get around. Hayes does, punches the ball down on the Thunder, and Mahalik waits for it there. And it's mishandled by Cato, but they still clear it out to midfield to Hayes. Hayes through the midfield circle, on the run with Mike Paxos. And Hayes and Paxos spin in the corner. Back it comes on the left point to Fall. Mike Fall on the right side to Cato, dumps it in the corner. There's nobody home there for Louisville. And Schlotthauer won't even bother to dump it back to the keeper. He'll come out to the right side to Mike Paxos. And now Schlotthauer, Walter with that big knee brace on the left knee that he injured earlier in the year. Long lead up the floor. Paxos trying to get inside. Ball can't do it, but Randy got the ball to Schirelli. Schirelli looking for help left side to Paxos. Sliding play knocked out by Cato. And there could have been some damage done there if Paxos was able to get around that side without Cato coming out. Good defensive play by Paul Cato. 8.46 left in the first half. Schlotthauer wides, booms, Randy tried to deflect it. It sailed wide. Scarelli couldn't get the foot on it. And Fall clears, but Paxos gets it back to Randy Pikasinski. Randy on Cato. Faces the net, dumps it in for Scarelli. Lesh outside to Condrich. He fires! Oh, what a save by Petroni. Orhan with it for Louisville. Condrich and Randy on him. Oron spins Condrich away to Scarelli. He shoots out of play. Petroni's eyes got awful big as he saw that ball coming down beside the left foot of Lesh Scarelli. Lesh had to fire in a hurry and he dumped it out of play. 8.21 to go in the first half and the Invaders get a good round of applause as the one line goes to the bench and the other line comes out on the field. It's Vossmeyer, Tima, Pisano, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia for Canton. Bakhtiari, Suri, Helen Camp, Savick, and Gabera for Louisville. Bakhtiari taps it back in the goal box. Petroni with a long lead midfield. Helen, or that's Gabera trying to get inside Pisano. Can't do it. Their legs tangled up, and Oscar went down. I think it was a correct no call, though. I don't think that was intentional. And coming up the field with it is Tima. Tima ahead for Rudy Pikasinski in the Thunder zone. Rudy double team gets around trying to get it to Kia but it ended up at the foot of Savick instead. Savick in the goal box for Petroni and the outlet comes ahead to Surrey. Intercepted by Tima. Tima comes inside three on two. Timmy and he scores! Timmy tapped it on the left side to Pikasinski. He gave it right back on the give and go and the Invaders lead two to one. Goal, 7-14 of period two. That's Tima's first point in the playoffs. 
Nick Kaczynski has his fourth assist. And that will tie him in a league lead with playoff scoring with seven points. And the Invaders lead two to one. We come back to the Civic Center right after this. Bob, in the middle of the second inning, it is now Cleveland one, Baltimore one. That's in the middle of the second. Cleveland and Baltimore tied one run apiece. Back to you. Nifty goal just scored by the Invaders to put him up two to one. Tima with a steal. There was some heavy contact with Surrey. Timmy looked at him for a second and said, heck, we got the break. Let's go. They got the play on call. Timmy got down the left side. He found Rudy in front of the box. They had to commit to Pikasinski once he had the ball, and Rudy just slapped it right back out to Tim Tima, who fired it into the open net. And the Invaders lead by a score of 2-1. to one. Midfield, and now back in his own zone with the ball is Surrey. And ahead it comes to Gabera. Lost it to Vossmeyer. Here come the Invaders. Up the right side, Kia. Hillenkamp's got to hurry to get back. Kia right through the front of the goal mouth. And Rudy couldn't get to the post in time. And coming the other way is Zoran Savic. 7-10 to go in the half. Canton 2, Louisville 1. Savic in the zone. Cuts to the middle. Shoots. That was partially blocked by Pisano. And it rolls in the left side. Vossmeyer couldn't control Savic out front. And you're going to have a foul on Pisano as he made the dive. And they'll give him the trip call. And then his foul number two on the Invaders. In the period, one on the Thunder. 6.58 to go. In the first half, Helen Camp taps right side Surrey. Shot blocked by Pikasinski. Rudy slaps it out. Outruns Surrey. But you got a push, and they call it on Rudy. And that's the third foul on the Invaders. 6.52 to go. So Louisville had the early lead at 1-0. The Invaders have answered with two goals here in the second period to lead by one. Helen Camp at the Canton Red Line. Three guys carefully around Helen Camp. Now Surrey pushes ahead back to Yari in the corner on Kia. Sae dumps it back out to Helen Camp. I don't believe they want him working that far away from the net. Here is Surrey on the right side. And now Gabera, or that was uh, Savic rather. Surrey overran the ball. And the pass back to Gabera is intercepted. Kia knocked it away from Rudy. And Kia trying to get around. And the ball was taken away on a nice sliding play by Bakhtiari down in the Louisville zone. And Savic has it at midfield for the Thunder. Ahead to Gabera. Back to Helen Camp. Helen Camp to the middle of the floor. On the right side, Savic. Tima fronts him. Savic to the middle. Centers. And it's knocked away. And Tima controls for Camp. Tima trying to move away from Helen Camp. Does. Feeds ahead to Kia. Kia on the run. Up the right side. He's got Rudy with him. He feeds Rudy. A little bit ahead. Rudy chases it in the corner. Got inside. His man tried to center. It was knocked away by Cato. Kia was open for a second up front. Cato with the ball for the Thunder. 5.48 to go in the first half. And Cato with good pressure from Vossmeyer. And had it knocked away by Vossmeyer. Cato back in the corner. Kia over to double team. He's able to clear. And Surrey dumps it across the floor on the right side to Mike Fall. Mike Fall. Dishes back and Cato has it in his own zone. And ahead it comes for Hayes. Hayes had it poked away by Scarelli. Taken by Pisano. Pisano under the retreat. Good defense by Savic. And in the goal box, it goes to Swanner, and out it comes to Tim Tima. Left side, red line, now to midfield. Hayes is with Tima. And Timmy backs it up for Vossmeyer. Invaders lead 2-1 on goals by, P by Tima and Pisano. Gabera has the Louisville goal. Schlotthauer, red line, lead ball in the Canton in the Louisville end for Kondrich. Kondrich. Back to the net. Center score by Randy Pikasinski. Tom Kondrich with the assist. Somebody was not minding the score on the left side of the net. Randy Pikasinski gets his first point of the playoffs. It is also the first point for Tom Kondrich on the assist. And the Invaders lead 3-1. Petroni, I think, actually got a piece of that but not enough. And it bounced up into the upper corner and the time of the goal will be 10.05. And they have never won a playoff game here. Of course, nobody else has either. But that's something that you think about if you're down there on the field, especially not so much at the start of a game, but when things start to go wrong and they have started to go wrong for Louisville in this period. 
Hayes drops it back to Fall. Outside the red line to Cato. Ahead to Hayes. Hayes, Canton red line, working on Paxos. They race in the corner. And Hayes took a dive and got the call. And that's foul number four on the Invaders. Orhan with a shot. Swanner with a save. Dumps it out in the corner. Schlotthauer sends it back in. Jamie grabs it and holds and tosses the outlet on the left side to Walter. We'll talk to Schlotthauer at halftime. Back to Swanner. And he puts it in the air for Paxos across the floor for Schlotthauer. Headed away from him by Mahalik. And Orhan has it for Louisville. A little bit more defensive pressure applied by the Thunder on this possession. Orhan in the corner. Paxos is there. Condridge to help. Outside Mahalik. Bad pass. Knocked away Randy to Condridge. Ahead to Scarelli. Scarelli feeds Condridge at the red line. The Invaders clear it out. Ahead to Randy up the left side. He is with uh, Cato. Cato controls the ball in the corner. Tries to spin out. Dumps it out to midfield to Orhan. 3.55 to go. In the first half, Mahalik midfield on the left side to Hayes. Back to Mahalik. And now Cato. Right side it comes. And this is Orhan. Orhan on the run with Paxos in the right corner. They take it down close to the goal box. Double team. They both go down. And the foul is a dangerous play against Louisville on Orhan. That's the second foul on the Thunder. Four on the Invaders in this period. Canton leads 3-1. to one. They scored all their goals in this quarter. Louisville got their only uh, tally in the first period. Schlotthauer with the ball in the Canton zone. Orhan steps out on him. Walter clears it back to Swanner. Jamie picks it up. Outlet. Schlotthauer left side midfield. Way up in the air. That hits the girders and comes back down. And with the ground rule, Louisville will put it in play from their own red line. Last week against Memphis, we had one that went up there and got stuck in the girder work and it never did come down. I think the maintenance crew ended up going up to retrieve it at halftime. Petroni clears, headed back out by Schlotthauer. And in the race, Cato just got to the ball ahead of Randy Pekosinski to Petroni. Back to Cato at midfield. Cato crosses the front of the invader bench. His lead ball for Hayes is too far and controlled by Jamie Swanner. Swanner looks for the long outlet and instead puts the ball on the floor. Clears ahead for Schlotthauer. Walter had gotten around Orhan. And Walter takes it down in the zone. He fires through the middle. Centering ball for Kia was blocked by Mahalik, and Cato clears it back. Swanner waits for it in the goal box. Hayes to apply pressure. Jamie scoops that up. 2.36 to play. Long lead for Condrich. Condrich at the red line, working against Mike Fall. Tomo, middle of the floor to Paxos. He's picked up by Hayes, and back on the right side to Condrich, and now Scarelli. Scarelli winds, fires, and the bouncing ball is corralled by Victor Petroni. And the outlet comes on the right side to Orhan. Orhan. Moves through the midfield circle. And he comes ahead into the Canton zone. Sliding play by Schlotthauer to take it away. Here they come two on two. Rudy and Kia. Rudy, middle of the floor, around a man. He shoots. Kick save and a good one by Petroni. And then coming the other way, Louisville. Orhan with it. Outside the Canton red line, back at midfield, it comes to Surrey. Minute 50 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead 3-1. to one. Surrey puts it in the air. It's headed out by Pisano, and Kia's got it for Canton. Kia backs away from Saeed, back to Yari. Rudy Pikasinski taps it in front of the goal lock for Vossmeyer. And Vossmeyer will come outside the red line. Now back inside a little bit to Pisano. Minute 27 to go in the first half. Pisano against Cabrera in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie with it on the floor. Started to pick it up, didn't, comes out. Clears to midfield, the ball deflected by Gabera. Head to Helen Camp. Helen Camp shot, blocked by Vossmeyer. Minute seven, Helen Camp and Vossmeyer fight in the corner. Key is over to help out. Kia took the ball away. Taps it ahead to Bob Vossmeyer. Here we come the other way. Vossmeyer to move away from Helen Camp, ahead to Rudy. Rudy is lead hit to Surrey in the back of the heel. And coming the other way is Gabera. Gabera winds, fires, Swanner with a save, and he catches it and holds on. 47 in the period. Here's Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to work against Surrey. And it's uh, Savick over to double team. The ball pops free and coming the other way. Savick lost it for a second to Tima, but got it back. Zorin into the Canton zone. Savick with Tima in the corner. Centering ball. Shot score by Gabera. 
And Gabera has two goals, and Louisville has cut the lead to one. It's now 3-2. Time of the goal, 14-32, or 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Gabera, second goal of the night and his third of the playoffs, and Hillenkamp has assisted on both goals tonight. It could be a big goal for Louisville. It'd be a lot better for them going in one, one down instead of two at halftime. Pekosinski back to Keo off the kickoff, and Vossmeyer sends it long for Tima. Heads it in the middle. It went behind Rudy. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Amlong clears ahead for Savick, 15 seconds. Savick winds, fires, hits the glass and wide to the right. Kia dumps it out, 10 seconds. Savick will chase that down at midfield. Seven seconds in the period. Savick winds, fires, blocked by Vossmeyer, and that'll run the clock out. At the end of the first half, the score. The Canton Invaders, three. And the Louisville Thunder, two. Louisville, the visiting team, controls the kickoff in this, the third quarter. The visitors get it first and third. Home team gets it second and fourth. And the crowd getting ready to drum things up as both teams are on the field. And we're just about ready to get the second half underway with the Invaders enjoying a one-goal lead of 3-2 following the first 30 minutes of soccer tonight. So far, it's been a typical Canton-Louisville game. And that's to say, a pretty good one. Bakhtiari takes the kickoff. He's got it back at the Thunder red line and now in, in front of the goal box to Petroni. Back to Saeed Bakhtiari. Rudy Pikasinski on him. They tried to sweep it to Helen Camp. Tima got a piece. Helen Camp got it back. Now Gabera. Helen Camp on the left point. Back at midfield to Bakhtiari to Helen Camp, middle of the floor to Savick. At the red line, ball knocked away by Vosmeyer, taken by Kia, ahead to Pikasinski, but Rudy had it knocked away by Bakhtiari. Gabera feeds to the right side to Savick. Savick working on Pisano, winds, fires, no, rebound knocked away by Vosmeyer. And he taps it ahead to Pisano. 14 minutes, 17 seconds left in the third period, just underway in the second half at the Civic Center. 3-2, Invaders with a lead, and Pisano with a ball out across the red line for Canton. Oscar out near the midfield circle. Right edge of the circle now. Ahead, Vossmeyer sweeps it right side to Pisano. Pisano stops. Gabera has good position on D. Hellenkamp over to help out. They back it up. Vossmeyer puts it up in the air. Petroni heads it over against the sideboards. Kia trying to get out of a crowd, but Savick comes away with the ball. Savick and Tima through the midfield circle. Now Helen Camp left side. The pass comes down on the right to Surrey, middle of the floor. Savick with a shot. That one scattered the troops in the stage. And it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. 13.36 to go in the third quarter. Like to see you all out here tomorrow night. As uh, we have another 8.05 kickoff, game two of the championship series and who knows if history repeats itself the last two years game two of the championship series has ended up being the final invader home game of the regular season and louisville has something to say about that of course the invaders trying to get one up tonight here is schlotthauer coming out across the red line with it amlong waits for him at midfield walter puts it in the air it's headed out by mahalik and yomaz warhan's got the ball for louisville I uh, head to Amlong, Amlong back out front, Fall right side at midfield to Orhan, back to Fall up the right side, shot score by Amlong and the game is tied. Amlong will get the goal, Fall will get the assist and it's even at 3-3. Time of the goal, 146. Replay play by Gary Amlong and a nice assist by Fall. That's the second goal of the playoffs for Amlong. And it's the second assist of the playoffs for Fall. 
And this game is tied up at 3-3. At, uh, three, three. Schirelli drops the kickoff back to Kondrich. Ahead for Randy Pikasinski, right side in the Louisville zone against Cato. Taps it off the boards for Mike Paxos. Back to Kondrich. And it's over the head of Schirelli. Mahalik tries to clear. Schlothauer stepped in front of a man, but he couldn't control, and Cato comes out with it for Louisville. Cato up the left side of the floor. On the run with Paxos and Pikasinski. Shot no. Rebound comes out to Paul. Knocked away from behind by Schlothauer. Paul comes away with it, however. Dumps it back out to Mahalik, and now midfield it comes to Orhan. Orhan on the run. Schlothauer got him along the boards, and he will get the tripping call. First foul of the half on either team. And they get it over to Fall. Ball knocked away by Kondrich, and the trip call goes on Tomo. And that's the second foul on Canton in a couple of seconds. Game is tied, 3-3. Louisville has scored the uh, only goal they have so far. Amlong from fall at 146 of the period to even this up at three goals apiece. They send it to the middle. Amlong shot blocked by Randy Pikasinski who comes the other way. Two on one if they hurry. Randy had the ball knocked away from behind by Cato. He wanted to wait for Scarelli to clear up the right side. Cato was chugging in from behind and Randy just didn't have quite enough time to set up the play that he wanted to. Cato clears ahead up the right side of the floor. It's too far for Orhan. Kondrich will let it go for Swanner and now back out to Tomo. And we have played three minutes of the second half. Kondrich right side midfield to Schlothauer. Schlothauer puts it ahead, blocked by Hellenkamp. Schlothauer gets it back. Kondrich takes it in the corner, can't get there. It rolls in the goal box for Petroni. Out by the head to midfield to Hellenkamp. Hellenkamp. Middle of the floor, winds, fires, good save by Swanner to punch that one away. And coming the other way is Les Schirelli. Schirelli, Helen Camp backs off on Deed, and Les leaves it in the goal arc for Tim Tima. 11-29 left to play in the third quarter. Rudy Pikasinski with a ball for Canton out of a double team, and Bossmeyer taken down from behind by Jim Gabera, and that'll be the first foul on Louisville. Tima pushes it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy around one. The ball got away from him, and Petroni scoops it up in the goal box. Ahead uh, to Helen Camp. Right side to Mahalik. And Giannis Mahalik dumps it back to Victor Petroni. Now Surrey, now Mahalik. And up the floor, this is Gabera. Gabera, left side, Helen Camp. Rudy back on D. Helen Camp. Ball knocked away by Pikasinski. And Rudy comes the other way ahead to Kia. Key up the right side with Bakhtiari. Back to Rudy. He's open. He shoots no. Rebound. Kia couldn't get the shot away. And coming the other way is uh, Cabrera. Pikasinski and Surrey exchange pleasantries in front of the Louisville net. And they're both jawing at the ref. Coming the other way. Pizano to Vosmeyer. Middle of the floor. The pass is blocked by Helen Camp. And Savick trying to get it away from Pizano. Can't do it as Oscar. Clears it back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Here comes Pisano through the midfield circle. Ahead to Rudy, tried to heal it over, but there was nobody there to take the pass. And coming the other way, you've got uh, Amlong. Midfield on the right side to Orha. 10.07 to go third quarter. The game is tied at three. WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Amlong drops it back, Cato, left point, picked up by Pikasinski, middle of the floor to fall, and the ball was mishandled by Hayes and sent back out to midfield. They let it go back to Petroni, who clears it ahead for Mahalik. 9.45 to go in the third quarter. Mahalik, midfield circle, knocked it behind Fall, but Orhan got there for Louisville. Orhan up the right side, ball knocked away by Pisano, and Pisano will come up with it as Tima leaves it for him. Oscar around one through the middle of the floor and the ball knocked away by Cato. Cato clears it up for Louisville. Cato and Pisano step for step up the right side. Cato backs it up as Bossmeyer is waiting inside the red line and Mahalik has it. Midfield, now Fall, and now Cato. Cato to Amlong, back to Fall. Fall, Amlong, shot, deflected in the corner by Pisano. And Oscar controls in the invader zone. Nine minutes to go in the quarter. 
Tim Tima has it on the right side for Canton. Game is tied at 3-3. Tim Tima surveys the situation. The Invaders are changing lines. The Randy Pikasinski, Kondrich, and Scarelli line up front. Mike Paxos has the ball, dumps it ahead. It's headed out of the Louisville end by Mahalik. Helen can't, can't get it as Paxos controls at midfield. Kondrich pushes it ahead. Randy taken down. That should be two minutes on Cato, but they'll only give him the foul. Cato grabbed him by the shirt and just pulled him down from behind. That's the second team foul on Louisville. Kondrich to put it in play. Team fouls are even at two apiece. Tomo outside slot. How winds, fires, blocked by Cato. And the rebound slapped away, and it's knocked at midfield. Orhan can't control there. Kondrich does for Canton. Back to Paxos. He steers it back for Swanner ahead for Schlothauer. And here's a lead ball. It's away from Randy and taken away by Gabera, but back to Kondrich. It comes outside. Kondrich, Scarelli looking to center. Back out front. Kondrich with a shot wide to the left. Cato trying to clear the rebound out. Knocked it away from Kondrich. Schlothauer booms one in. That one was deflected wide to the left. Kondrich slow getting up, but he now does get up. Scarelli dribbling around the left side, back to Kondrich. Tomo taps it outside to Schlotthauer. And now Paxos. In the corner, Scarelli, back to Kondrich. Kondrich to Randy Pikasinski. Paxos lets it go, and Petroni just got that. Rebound, no, rebound. Second time by Scarelli won't go. The third time they can't get as Hellenkamp pulls it out to midfield. Now Schlotthauer will come back as they resume the attack. 7-17 in the period. Left side, Paxos. He wants the shot. He fires no. Rebound off the chest of Randy. Back outside it comes. Paxos to Schlotthauer in the air for Scarelli. Lesh trying to leave it for Wall. Does he shoots and Petroni comes up big. And you got a whistle and a foul on Louisville. They're third. Victor Petroni just made a very big save in front of that net. But Schlotthauer had good position in short range for that cannon shot of his. Cato and Scarelli are uh, doing a little jockeying for position that the referee doesn't appreciate in the box. And here comes to Schlotthauer. That's blocked up in the air by Gabera. Stays in play. Randy heads it off the boards once. Mahalik got a piece of it. Gabera clears out to midfield to Orhan. The ball back to Gabera is too far. Kondrich clears to Paxo, shot high out of play into the crowd. Goal kick Louisville with 6.45 to play in the third quarter. Timeout on the field, Canton three and Louisville three. Tima and Randy Pikasinski have goals for Canton. Gabera has two and Amlong one for Louisville. Amlong's goal is the only one that's been scored in this half so far. Invaders led 3-2. At halftime, now we're tied 3-3. Petroni with the ball in the goal box for Louisville. Looks up the field. Sends it long for Hayes. Hayes had it knocked away by Tima. Bossmeyer couldn't get it. And it's loose at midfield on the right side. Surrey trying to get around Pikasinski. Bossmeyer picked his pocket, and we come the other way. Invaders attack three on three. Bossmeyer to the middle to Rudy, and he couldn't get it off. It was deflected out of play. Touched last by Louisville. Or did they give it a goal kick? They gave him a goal kick. I thought Surrey deflected that out last. I also thought Surrey fouled him, but that's neither here nor there. You're not going to get that call in the goal box very often. It's got to be pretty flagrant. They send it ahead to midfield. Surrey with it. Bossmeyer with him. 6.04 to play in the period. Savick up front, shot blocked by Pisano. Helen Camp trying to get it away from Rudy. Can't. Helen Camp shot. Good save by Swanner to make the left hand. Here's Savick. Right side. And the centering ball taken away from Hayes by Jamie Swanner. Surrey bounced it off the boards. Hayes was ready to tuck that in. And Swanner able to grab it and hold on. Here is Rudy Pikasinski working on Cato. Cato will get called for throwing an elbow. 
And that's four fouls on Louisville. Two on the Invaders, 528 to play in the period. So Louisville has only one foul to give in that remaining amount of time here in the third. Tima to put the ball in play for Canton. Timmy had tried to center. It was knocked out to midfield. Bossmeyer chases it down there. Takes it back inside the Invader red line. Paul and uh, Amlong are on D for Louisville at midfield. The other three guys are back. Bossmeyer ahead to Tima. Tima working against uh, Savick to Rudy and now back to Pisano. Oscar Vossmeyer back edge of the circle. Lead ball in the left in the right corner for Tima. Tima tries to center. He does to Rudy. Rudy didn't get all of it, and Petroni falls on it and holds on. 4.55 in the period. Outlet red line right side to Cato. Cato ahead. Savick with the ball. Savick working on Tima. Kia comes over to help from behind and poked it away. And Tima ahead on the right side to Pisano. Oscar out across the Canton red line. 4.38 to go in the third period. Game is tied at three. Pisano ahead. Rudy got inside to Kia. He shoots, taken down by Cato. Couldn't get the shot away. Coming the other way is Amlong. Amlong with fall to his left. And his shot is blocked by Tima. And he fired another one wide. Tima taken down on a flagrant trip, and there was no call. And here we come the other way, and the ref was looking right at it. Pisano pushes ahead for Kia. Kia, back outside, ball deflected, but Pisano gets it anyway. 3.55 to go in the third quarter. We're tied at three. Kondrich with it at midfield. Tomo, left side to Tima, back to Kondrich in the midfield circle. Tomo, a couple of steps ahead, now to Kia in the right corner, back to the net on Cato. Kia trying to get inside, does, spins, there's the fifth foul, hey, holding call on Cato, shot, score! And the restart by Kondrich! And the Invaders lead. Four to three, they put it in play quickly on the restart. Kondrich will get the goal. Watch this, there's the restart. Kia put it in play right away and Kondrich drilled it. Kondrich will get the goal, Kia the assist. And the Invaders lead four to three. The time of the goal is 11.23. They used that to good advantage one time in the Memphis series on the quick restart. And it's up to the defense to be ready to go. Kia was fouled, got up, put the ball in play right away. Louisville players were still looking around, and when they looked again, they found the ball in the back of the net. There's a steal off the kickoff. Lesh deflects to Randy Pikasinski. Now Kondrich. That goal seems to have fired the crowd and the invader bench. And remember, Louisville's one penalty away from going, one foul away from going down. Centering ball, Randy. Oh, beautiful play up front by Bakhtiari to block that. He had Petroni beat, and Bakhtiari came sailing through the goal to knock that away. Paxos puts it in the air for Scarelli, and it's put up in the air by Petroni. Randy with a header, and there is the foul on Randy Pikasinski as he collides with Surrey, and they say Randy was the guy with the elbow. And that's foul number three on the Invaders. Three minutes and four seconds to go in the third quarter. It's 4-3. Canton with a lead. Here comes Petroni out across the red line. Randy over to greet him. Petroni dumps it down in the uh, Canton zone. And Louisville didn't have anybody to get after it, so Mike Paxos will come back for the Invaders. 2.45 to go third quarter. Here comes Walt Slothauer. His uh, attempt at a lead ball is blocked by Gabera. Gabera off his head, gets it back for Louisville down the right side. Gabera moves out front, shot, Swanner dives to his left to come up with it. Jamie thought about the long pass, instead rolls it short on the right to Paxos. And now you've got uh, Schlothauer, Paxos ahead to Schirelli. Lesh for Randy Pikasinski working on uh, Surrey in the corner. Back to Schirelli, he wants Randy on the give and go, but Bakhtiari knocks it away. Kondrich in a race with Gabera, sweeps it back to Jamie Swanner. Swanner working on Gabera. He'll come out, send it ahead off the boards, knocked away by Helen Camp. Back to Gabera. Now Helen Camp, and they lead for Bakhtiari in the corner, but Schlothauer got a piece of that. 152 to go in the third quarter. Gabera backs it up to midfield, and this is Caleb Surrey. 
Mahalik's out on defense for Louisville, and now he's got the ball. Ahead uh, to Savick on the right side. Savick working on Paxos in the corner, trying to cut inside, but Paxi got the foot on the ball and tapped it into Jamie Swanner. Outlet on the right side comes to Schlotthauer. Thunderfoot across the red line, crosses midfield, up the right side to Kia, and he put it in the cheap seats. That'll be a goal kick for Louisville with a minute 24 remaining in the third quarter. And again, Louisville one foul away from going shorthanded. They've got to be thinking, don't foul, be careful. And the invaders are thinking, if you get an opportunity to make a move on them along the board, see if you can draw that foul. Rudy Pikasinski did just that in the first period, and they ended up with a power play goal early in the second as a result. Petroni with the ball, and he'll put it on the floor and come out. Lead ball, that is going to be knocked away by Pikasinski. Here we come three on three. Bossmeyer looks around one. He feeds in the corner. Kia centers. The ball knocked away by Cato. And coming up the left side of the floor is Orhan. Orhan got around Pisano. Swanner out of the net, trying to take it away. And Tima there to help out to knock it away from Orhan. Swanner scrambles back out front. 54 seconds in the quarter. Orhan, Kia fronts him on D. Orhan moves to the middle of the floor. Feeds left side to an open fall. Tima came over to help out. Now Orhan shot blocked by Pisano, and Orhan put it in the stage on the second opportunity, and that'll be a goal kick with 42 seconds remaining. <laughs> Intensity level is turned up a notch or two whenever these two teams get together. And you boost it up even a little more when it's a playoff situation. Here comes Bob Bossmeyer out across the red line. And he dumps it down in the Louisville zone. Cato puts it up in the air. It's headed up again by Orhan, but Kia dumps it back. And now Pisano, 27. Pisano in the corner, dumps it off right through the front of the goal mouth. Nobody could get at the shot, though. And Paul comes out with it for Louisville. 17 seconds in the period. Lead ball for Orhan in the corner, Canton zone. Back out Mahalik, and that one's out of play. And another goal kick for the Invaders. Now 13 seconds left on the clock. Canton four, Louisville three. Each team has scored once in the third quarter. 2,327 the crowd here at the Civic Center tonight. And their team, or the, the team for most of them, there's a decent contingent from Louisville down below us, but most of them are happy with a 4-3 lead right now. Swanner pushes it ahead for Tima. Ten seconds in the period. And now Kia. Kato knocked that away. Tima gets it back. Four seconds. Three. Shot through the middle. And that'll be the end of the quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders four. And the Louisville Thunder three. We come back to the Civic Center right after this. It'll be Tima, Pisano, Vosmeyer, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia for Canton. Surrey, Savick, Gabera, Hillenkamp, and Bakhtiari for Louisville. Tima tried to pass it ahead, got it around Gabera. They sweep it through the middle for Kia, but Bakhtiari steps in front and clears it ahead to Torin Savick. Savick leads it up for Gabera. Tima got a piece of it. Gabera got it back, lost it. And the Helen Camp eventually sweeps it over to Savick. Savick couldn't get around Pisano, but Pisano will be whistled for the push. That's the first foul. Oh, and they're going to give two minutes. I'm not sure if that's for dissent or not. So Louisville, who has not had a power play tonight, will get their first opportunity. Time of this penalty, 25 seconds into the fourth quarter. Oh, they gave it to Vosmeyer for unsportsmanlike conduct. So Louisville goes on the power play. Helen Camp, Savick, Fall, Amlong, and Gabera, the power play unit, the fun bunch for Canton. Penalty killers are Frick, Condrich, Tima, and Lola. 
Kenny Lowell is seeing his first action of the night. Helen Camp up front, down in the corner, it comes to fall centers, and Amlong put it out of play. One minute, 42 seconds left in the penalty. 14-17 in the game, the Invaders penalty killers ranked fifth in the league in the regular season. 72%, 33 of 119, that fifth in the league if you don't count their shorthanded goals. The Louisville power play was next to last in the league, seventh, 21 out of 83. The only team in the league that had a worse power play stat than that was the team Louisville beat in the semifinal, Chicago. Lead ball down in the Canton end was headed over the line to avoid the three line violation by Frick. But Louisville controlled once they got it back there and Helen Camp's got it at midfield and now it's Savick and now Helen Camp. Minute 17 in the penalty. Savick on the right point. Fires to the left side to Fall. Fall looking inside. Lola is in front on him. Invaders in the diamond. There's a shot wide. The follow hit the post and was knocked away. I think Swanner got a piece of that and eventually comes out to Tima. Tima clears. Fall gets it back at the red line. 57 in the penalty. Right side shot. Swanner with a deflection. It stays in play on the left side. And Fall taps it out to Helen Camp. And now it comes over on the right side to Savick. Savick winds, fires, kicked away by Swanner. Helen Camp looking up front. Right side, Savick fires, scores! And Louisville ties it up with a power play goal of their own. The time of the goal is 1.47 of the fourth period. Zoran Savick will get the goal. And Helen Camp gets his third assist of the night. So the game is tied 4-4. Each team is one for one on the power play. Kondrich off the kickoff, drops it back in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie will come out across the red line. Sends it long into the right corner, headed away by Cato. Hayes tries to clear, but Kondrich has it for Canton. Kondrich around the right side. He fires no, rebound. Randy with a shot that was blocked by Mahalik. And Schlothauer clears it across, and it goes over the glass and out of play. Goal kick Louisville with 12.43 left in the game. We're tied at 4-4. Helen Camp has three assists. Gabera has a pair of goals for Louisville. Condrich with a goal and assist for Camp. And the other six points divided up among six players. Petroni pushes it ahead for Mahalik and back to Victor Petroni. Twelve and a half minutes left in the game. Petroni sends it long for Amlong. Amlong working on Schlothauer in the corner. And Scarelli with a deflection, but he can't control. Neither can fall. It's cleared out, but it'll be a three-line violation on Canton. And take it back to the Invaders' red line. 4-4 tie in the fourth period. It's a typical Invader Thunder playoff game. With or without the bald-headed one, Keith Tozer. They put it on for Savick, and he and Paxos fight for it. It goes out of play. Whose ball is it? Goal kick, Camp. Both teams were doing a lobbying effort there for that because they hadn't made the call. And they were both saying, hey, their guy hit it out last. Their guy did. And the other one saying, no, no, he did. Referee eventually says it's goal kick for the Invaders. Swanner taps it outside the box to Schlothauer. Back into Jamie. No pressure on Swanner, and he'll come out with it. Amlong slides over. Jamie sends it ahead to Schlothauer at midfield on the left side. He puts it forward for Randy Pekosinski trying to get inside. Cato wall feeds Corelli, knocked away. Paxos gets it back at the red line, and his pass is intercepted. But Scarelli, or rather Condrich, got it back away from Hayes. And Swanner pushes it ahead for Schlothauer. 
Now Randy Pikasinski trying to move on. Cato does. Taken down by Cato. No call, and we come the other way. Kondrich and uh, Fall both go down, and Hayes ends up with it. Gets around Schlothauer. Hayes down in the corner. Ball knocked away by Kondrich, and coming the other way is Schlothauer. Three on four. Thunder back on D. Schlothauer down the left side of the floor. Takes it in the corner. Double teamed in there. It squirts free and is cleared out to midfield. And one bounce goes out of play. The Invaders will put it in. Touchline right at midfield. The Rudy Pikasinski key of Osmeyer line comes back out with uh, Pizzotto and Timo on D. And for Louisville, it's going to be Surrey and Bakhtiari in the back. Helen Camp at midfield, and the forwards are Savick and Cabrera. 11.08 left in the game. We are tied at 4-4. Vossmeyer to put it in play for Canton. Out in front of the red line, it comes to Pisano. Lead ball for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get inside. It's up in the air and then controlled by Petroni, who pushes off on Kia, and he's going to get two. He better get two. The Invaders will go on the power play. He just took and threw a forearm into Kia. And then he complains to the referee. He's lucky he doesn't get a yellow card for that. Petroni's going to get on sportsmanlike conduct. Now, I don't know who's got to serve it. Time of the penalty is 4.02. Game is tied 4-4. Invaders will go on the power play. They have scored on their only power play opportunity of the night. So has Louisville. Now somebody has to serve this penalty for the goalkeeper. Referees are going to take a time to, to talk this over. Pisano and Savic are over in the referee's crease. Uh, Discussing some of the finer points of soccer right now. Petroni comes over to have a drink of water. Game is tied 4-4. That is not the kind of play you want your keeper to make. He didn't have to do that. Flagrant foul. And in a tight game like this, you don't want to commit those kind of fouls and put your team down a man. It's just that simple. When it's not necessary for something like that to happen, you don't do it. It was flagrant, and it and how, it, give you an idea of how dumb a foul that is, how often do you see a guy called for a foul when he's got the ball? They give him uh, either a yellow or possibly they're talking about whether they might have given him a red card. Are they going to give him a penalty kick for that? The foul did happen in the box. That's right. That happened in the box. That, that's a penalty kick, and that's doubly stupid because of what I just got done saying. He commits the foul while he's got the ball. If that's what they've done. Yep. Penalty kick. Flagrant foul, no question about the call. And no question that it's inside the box. And I think it'll be Schlothauer who'll take the penalty kick. The way this works, if they score, Amlong, who is the guy serving the penalty, gets to come out of the box if they don't score. The Invaders have a two-minute power play opportunity. 10.58 left in the game. Or is that just where they're going to restart it from? Let's see. Well, they're going to make the Louisville players get outside the box. Now, who's going to take the kick? It appears that it will be Vossmeyer. 
Yep, Vossmeyer will try the penalty kick. He has not done this this year yet. Advantages to the shooter in this situation. This could really pump Louisville up if Petroni would save this. It'll give the Invaders the lead. If Bobby V is able to find the back of the net and have the red light turned on right here. Here he comes. He shoots. He scores. Vossmeyer scores on the penalty kick. And the Invaders lead 5-4. They started the clock rolling. That counts as a power play goal. The time of the goal is 4.03. So it took one second. And the Invaders lead it 5-4. Off the penalty kick. You know, one of the books on, on the two goalkeepers from Louisville, Lakawaki is the steady keeper, the guy that stays in position most of the time. The only rap on him is he occasionally gives up rebounds. And the ball in front of the Canton zone, they clear it out for Pikasinski. Petroni is known as the more spectacular keeper in terms of coming up with the big saves, the acrobatic saves. The rap on Victor, though, is that he will also come up with the big mistake, and he just did right there. Here is Pikasinski. Rudy double-teamed in the corner, gets out of it. Clears it across to Kia. Kia trying to get inside. He shoots. Save Petroni. And Bakhtiari has it and dumps it in the goal box for Victor Petroni. He sends it forward for Surrey. Down in the Canton zone. Savick with it there. Heels it back. Back to the net on Pisano in the right corner. Across for Surrey. He shoots wide. And the rebound comes out to Bakhtiari in the left corner for Surrey. Tima got a piece of that centering ball. Knocked away by Vosmeyer. And Gabera trying to get inside. Rudy does. Tima slides to knock it away. Bossmeyer cuts between two players and clears it to midfield. 9.53 left in regulation time. 5-4 Invaders. This is game one of a best of five series. Second one tomorrow night. Bossmeyer in the corner trying to get away from Gabera. Does. Gets around Helen Camp, And he can't get it away from Savick. But Savick forced to dump it back in his own end. Petroni out of the net there. Now Mahalik. Mahalik leads it for Savic. Savic back to Petroni. And the outlet to Mahalik across the red line. Paul Cato with it, left side at midfield. And the ball blocked by Randy Pikasinski. And Cato dumps it back in the goal area again to Petroni. 9-10 in the game. Lead ball for Orhan. Orhan trying to get inside Kondrich. Tomo backpedals. Pisano with a deflection. And here comes Scarelli. Flesh drops it back over to Kondrich, and now Pisano. Under nine minutes left in the game. Oscar ahead, Louisville red line for Scarelli, trying to get around Mahalik, can't do it. Mahalik, lead ball for Orhan, but Paxo stepped in front of that, sent it down in the corner. Paxi trying to get away from Orhan, fall there to help out, but Mike bumps off, off the boards, gets it back to himself, and fall takes, him, takes it away from behind. Cato has it, now Mahalik. Midfield, 8.32 to play. Invaders by one. Schlotthauer had the interception for a second, lost it. Randy got it back, and then Cato got it back, and then Randy took it away again. And now it's Schlotthauer at midfield after the lead ball ahead from Mike Paxos. Walter backs up inside the Canton red line. Schlotthauer pushes it ahead, and Randy Pikasinski had it knocked away, and coming the other way is Cato. Look at Randy catch Cato from behind and the ball knocked in the goal box for Swanner. Randy Pikasinski can run like a jet when he wants to. And that's most of the time. That guy can fly. Randy working in the Louisville end, dumps it outside to Scarelli. Scarelli working on Mahalik, takes him left, takes him right. Spins it to the middle to Paxos, his shot wide, rebound to Randy. He's got to come out front with it. Randy. Taps it out on the point, right side to Kondrich. Steps inside, ball taken away by Orhan. And we come the other way. Orhan up the left side, picked up by Paxos. Kondrich is back. Amlong trying to move inside. Centering ball knocked away by Paxos. Randy clears it out. And Walt Slothauer dumps it ahead. Scarelli trying to get away from uh, both Cato and the referee. Slothauer clears in the zone. Randy trying to get inside. Does, Wolfie, nobody hold on front. It goes just wide to the right. 
And in the corner is Kondrich trying to center. Knocked up in the air by Cato. Kondrich heads it to the middle. And Petroni took it away in the air from Randy Pikasinski. Long lead for Orhan. Orhan in the Canton zone centering ball blocked by Paxos and a scissor play by Mike to take it away. He dumps it the length of the floor. And Petroni is out of his box to come out after it. 6.50 left to play and Maders by a one. Five to four. Here comes Helen Camp. Now Savick right side shoots. Kick save and a dandy by Swanner. He holds on and got pushed by Amlong. And he's going to get two. did not get pushed nearly as hard as he made it look. But I think that was less an acting job than he may have injured that left hand. The trainer coming out to take a look. This is just what they didn't want to have happen. An injury to Jamie Swanner with Bill Namofsky already injured, although he is dressed and could play in an emergency. Amlong's going to sit down for two minutes. The Invaders will have the power play. Time of the penalty, 8.20. Game two of the series tomorrow night. They are looking at the left hand of Jamie Swanner. He has had a problem with a finger or two on that hand. Two-minute pushing call against Amlong. And again, that was not an intelligent foul. There was no reason for Amlong to do what he did. Namofsky is sitting over there looking out, looking at that mask that he has. But apparently he will not have to use it as it looks like Swanner is going to stay in. You could see he had, he didn't get hit that hard, but where he got hit on that hand that's been bugging him, he just instantly recoiled in pain. And again, there's a case he's got, he had the ball. There was absolutely no reason for Amlong to do what he did. The last two penalties on Louisville have both been just, just plain stupid. The one on Petroni and the one on Amlong. Those are the, you look at the films and those are the kind of things that'll turn a coach's hair gray quicker than anything. Here we come on the power play. Gabera deflects it away from Schlotthauer. Petroni controls in the goal box. Victor with the ball on the floor. Kia comes over to confront. Taken away by Rudy to Kia. He shoots once, twice. Petroni blocked both of them. And Schlotthauer gets it back. Now Pisano. Minute and a half left in the penalty. Here's Vossmeyer. Ahead to Rudy. To Pisano. Pisano. A couple of steps in on back the yard. Left side, Schlotthauer, right back to Vossmeyer. Minute 17 in the penalty. Vossmeyer to Pikasinski to Pisano. Pisano winds, fires just wide to the left, and Gabera sweeps it out. Swanner's out to greet that at the red line. Taps it ahead to Vossmeyer, and we have one minute in the penalty, 5.39 in the game. Rudy, right point to Pisano, and now Vossmeyer. Left side to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer to Vossmeyer. To the left side. Here's Schlotthauer. Let's it go. It's blocked out of play by Surrey. That'll be a corner kick from the left side for the Invaders. 5.24 on the game clock. 45 seconds on the penalty clock. And the scoreboard reads 5-4 Canton. The kick in will be put into play from the left side by Kia. Although Kia is looking out like maybe somebody else would want to do that but I guess it will be Kia triggering it in Kia Schlotthauer winds fires and scores that's the second assist for Kia off a restart tonight Walter drilled that into the upper right corner Beating Petroni, the Invaders, with another power play goal. They lead 6-4. to four. Time of the goal, 9.38. Schlotthauer from Kia. 
six to four in Raiders. And if Petroni had gotten to that, he might have an injured hand. Walter really had some mustard on that one. In the other way, you got a handball. That's the first foul, second foul on the Invaders. Ball loose out front, Paxos clears it out. Petroni's out of his net. The shot. Orhan didn't get it, and you got a whistle, and it's knocked out of play by Louisville. Canton will put it in play. 5.02 left in the game, Invaders 6, Louisville 4. And right about now, with a two-goal deficit, you start thinking, how long is Petroni going to be in the net for Louisville? Steve Frick in the game for Canton. Ball tapped back in the goal box. And I think they're trying to say that Jamie couldn't pick that up, but Orhan touched the ball. That's not a correct call. That is not a correct call. They try to put it in play. And they'll say no, and we'll do it again. Frick had, had dumped it back, but then Orhan touched it. Cato with a shot, wide through the box. Orhan shot, deflected by Amlong wide. Schlotthauer tries to clear. Mahalik puts it up in the air to midfield. Cato's got it there, heads it up. Swanner goes up high and comes down with it. And Hand may still be a little injured. He juggled that on the way down, but was able to hold on. Randy Pikasinski in the midfield circle. Back to Kondrich. Red line it is with Paxos. Ahead for Randy Pikasinski, who's belted by Cato. That's the first foul on Louisville. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Canton by two. Six to four. Condrich to put it in play for the Invaders. Condrich. Ahead for Frick. Frick got inside his man, shot wide. And Mahalik controls it in the goal box for Petroni. Ahead to Orhan. Orhan in the midfield circle. Lost it for a second. And it was knocked back by Paxos. Fall trying to clear. Fall working with Frick and Condrich. And Kondrich got at the ball for a second but couldn't control. Amlong ahead, shot, save Swanner. Orhan trying to get inside, and Orhan will be called. Nope, it's an obstruction on Paxos. Third foul on the Invaders. Outside shot, up in the crowd, and out of play by Mahalik. Goal kick Invaders with four minutes and six seconds left in the game. Canton leading by two, six to four. So many of these games have been just out and out wars great intensity great soccer but over the years so far it has been the invaders that have always come up with the big plays when they've needed them and that's what's happened tonight they've also had help from a couple of big mistakes by louisville on the last two goals the two penalties just idiotic penalties one on petroni and one on amlong and they ended up getting two goals out of it. Swanner leads, goes over the head of Tima, ahead for Rudy, taps it back to Timmy. Tima trying to get through the front. He does to Kia. Kia center shoots. Oh, what a play by Petroni. He just robbed Rudy Pikasinski. Coming up the floor with it is Savick. Savick, sliding play by Vosmeyer to knock it away from Hillenkamp. Rudy and Kia attack two on two. Rudy dumps it to the left, nobody there. And Petroni's out of his net. And ahead, the ball comes to Savick. Savick trying to get around Tima, does. Rudy up with him. Rudy got a piece of it from behind. Bounces out front, shot. Oh, is saved by Swanner off the play by Hillenkamp. And Kia trying to control for Canton, does and drops it out to midfield. And we got 3-10 left in the game. Kia tried for the steal, didn't get it. Rudy knocked the ball away from uh, Savick from behind, and he'll get the trip. And that's the fourth foul on the Invaders. One on Louisville. 3.05 left. Invaders got to be careful. You don't want to give Louisville a power play. Bakhtiari sweeps it in the left corner for Helen Camp. Helen Camp trying to get inside Pisano. Oscar got a piece of the ball. Tima and Savick collide. Swanner. Oh, you got to be kidding. They're going to give Jamie the penalty after Savick pushed him. They should get both of them. If they don't give both penalties, that is just plain stupidity. Pisano and Vosmeyer discussing that. 
Swanner gave him a little bit of a push back, but Savick was the instigator. And if they couldn't see that, something's wrong because they were looking right at it. Swanner steps up. Savick is not even involved in that. Comes in to give him the push. Jamie says, comes back and they give Jamie two minutes. That is an idiotic call. That is a terrible call. And that is still the weak point in this league is the officiating. And eventually it's going to become a problem if something isn't done. There is no excuse for that, for anything like that to happen. None. And I think they're going to get a penalty kick out of it. There is no excuse for that kind of a call to be missed. If the referees are doing their job and in the box where they're supposed to be, there is absolutely no excuse for that kind of a call to take place. None. Time of the penalty, 12.04. Louisville will get a penalty kick. So if he scores, the referees will be allowing them right back into this game. If you give Swanner two, you've got to give Savick two. They had done a decent job until this quarter, but things have started to fall apart in a couple of cases. That, in particular, is one of the bigger injustices you're going to see. Happened in the box. But how they cannot be watching where the ball is and see Savick come in. And the ultimate injustice, I think, is that Savick is going to be allowed to take the penalty kick. This could pull Louisville to within one. Crowds up, rooting for Jamie to stop it. Savick shoots, he scores with an assist from the officials. And Louisville is right back in it. Time of the goal, 12.05. So it's 6-5, the Invaders with the lead. But Louisville has been allowed a step closer. Tima puts it up in the air, Pikasinski. Had it off the head of Gabera and Savick gets it back. Savick with Pisano takes it down in the Canton end. 2.41 in the game. Pikasinski knocked it away from Gabera. Here comes Kia. Kia knocked it away from behind, and Gabera will get the foul. That's the second foul on Louisville in the period. 2.35 left in the game. They'll put it in play at midfield. Tima ahead for Kia. Kia back to the net, out front to Tima. Tima to Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy off the boards, tried to get it back to him, to Kia coming in. Petroni got there first, clears it out to Hillenkamp. 2.20 left to play. Here comes Zoran Savick. Savick over to Hillenkamp. He shoots it just wide to the left. Shot, rebound, no. Hillenkamp shot again, kick save Swanner. And it's cleared in the box where Jamie grabs it and holds on. Long lead. Helen Camp had hit him in the hand. And that'll be the third foul on Louisville. They put it in play quickly to Kia. Kia dumps it back. Pisano with the ball for the Invaders at the red line. Less than two minutes to go. Here comes Surrey. Surrey across midfield. Savick inside the Canton red line. Shot blocked by Pisano. Centering ball. Loose and controlled by Swanner. And Jamie ahead for Tima. Team at a midfield for Rudy. Rudy got around his man. Here they come, two on one. Rudy with Kia. He feeds, and the ball's intercepted by Bakhtiari. A minute and a half left in the game. 
And they're going to call timeout and go to the sixth attacker with one minute and 25 sec 27 seconds left to play. We will keep it right here. It is 6-5 Canton. Louisville will go to the sixth attacker. For Canton, Petroni is gone for Louisville. Replaced as the sixth attacker by Saeed Bakhtiari. Out there along with Bakhtiari, Savick, Gabera, Hillenkamp, Fall, and Amwall. A lot of big offensive guns in that bunch. The Invaders will counter with Randy Pikasinski, Frick, Kondrich, Tima, and Vossmeyer. Midfield, Helen Camp. And Frick ridded, rode it away from behind. Vossmeyer trying to control. Frick trying to get away, but it's steered out by Gabera. Minute 12 to play. Bakhtiari ahead fall. Shot through the box. Nobody can get it. There's a follow-up wide. It bounces off Kondrich. Followed by Helen Camp is blocked. Here comes Frick the other way. Frick dumps it in. It's going to be wide to the right. Bakhtiari's got to chase it down. 55 seconds left in the game. 6-5 Canton. Here is Helen Camp. Ahead for Savick. And Bossmeyer knocks that away. Back in the Louisville end again goes uh, Bakhtiari to chase that down. 40 seconds to play. Right side Canton red line to Savick. Savick ahead, fall with a shot, no. Rebound off the chest of Tima. He clears. That's going to bounce shy of three lines and stay in play. Helen Camp with Frick in hot pursuit. Dumps it in the goal box. And 22 seconds left in the game. Frick knocks it away. Gabera took a dive and got the call. Coming the other way. That was Helen Camp, rather. Gabera has the ball now. Knocked away. Taken back again. 14 seconds. Helen Camp right side to Savick. 10 seconds. Shot. Saves Warner. And Randy Pikasinski with it there. Tima trying to get away. Out to Frick. Four seconds. He dumps it down. The game's over. The Invaders win. They go up one game to none in the championship series with a 6-5 Donnybrook at the Civic Center. We'll be back to wrap it up in 60 seconds.